Alright, what's up everyone, Pathfinder here, and today we're playing some Killing Floor 1, and to be completely honest, I freaking suck at this game, because I didn't even play it, like, at all, these two and a half years since Killing Floor 1, I mean, since Killing Floor 2 came out. So, yeah, rest in peace is my Killing Floor 1 skills and experience. But yeah, I'm just going to be playing today on Suicidal, let's see if we can even beat this shit, because I've been playing, like, last night, like, off-camera, just like some hell on earth. I did complete one, and it was with the Berserker, so... Rest in pieces, man. I tried one with the Sharpshooter, as I'm doing, like, right now, but... I died. I had the fourth wave, like, three times. And that that's why I quit last night, but... Oh, where did you come from, man? But, yeah, today I'm just, wanting, just going to play some Halloween-themed Killing Floor 1. Since Killing Floor 2 is going to have the update kinda soon. Like, even less than a month at this point. So we'll see. Okay, let's just kill you up. Just gonna destroy you up. Because that's what we do in Killing Floor 1. Okay, the, the most annoying things in Killing Floor 1 are the clots, which can grab you, and spiders and gore fasts. Everything else is kind of chill, pretty much. Okay, clot, what are you doing, man? Doesn't even make sense. Okay, one more. Where is he? Oh shit, I spawned with this. Why didn't I even use this? Okay, well, skipping the trader. Wait, is this like Bio Cola? Drink Bio Cola. Taste the hazard. Oh, I just like killing Floor 1, man. I want to get back into it, but... I mean, we'll see. I kind of want to play this game again, but... I mean, I'm not sure. Okay, let's just skip the trade right now and be right back. And we are back for the second wave. And I did miss that freaking lagging in the beginning of each wave. Kind of, oh, where did you guys come from? You're not supposed to be here. Oh, well. Already at 50 life. Would you know it? Go fast. I don't want your shenanigans, so can you please go, man? And the lower action in this, in this game, I just freaking like it, man. I just don't know what it is about it. But let's see if I still have aim, because I don't think I freaking do. And the grenades can either help you or can completely screw you over. Okay, let's see this now. Can I kill him? Hopefully. I mean, the sharpshooter was one of my favorites in this game, because back then I had, like, aim and shit. But now... Oh, oh shit, the trampoline. Totally forgot about this shit. But yeah, back then I had aim, so that's why the sharpshooter was freaking, like, the best for me, but... Right now, I don't have aim, and the sharpshooter is kind of bad, but we'll see, man. Wow, I only got, like, two kills with that grenade, and gore fast, can you fuck off from me? I mean, sometimes gore fasts, they just kill you, like, instantly, and sometimes they just don't even do shit. But most of the time, they just go and chop you up with their stupid banjo piece of shit, and you die. Oh, wow, thanks, Husk, for that freaking aimbot of yours. Don't really miss it, man. Okay, let's go behind this. Just to avoid the freaking husk. Okay, anything behind? There's nothing behind. Oh, God. There's so many shit, man. Okay, siren, you need to die. Okay, this thing is like a one-shot for most of the Zeds, but I don't have aim, so it's going to be, like, pretty much harder. Okay, well... Skipping the trader and be right back. And we are back. Let's see if I can complete wave 3. Probably can. I mean, this is like one of my favorite weapons as well. The single piston long musket from the steampunk pack, I think. I mean, the weapon is kind of cool. But you just need to be like accurate as hell to use it. Which is kind of like disappointing because I don't have aim anymore. Oh god, spiders, can you go, man? Oh god, I mean, this hillbilly freaking Zeds, man. Or should I say crawlers? The crawlers are just so bad to kill. Like, where the hell am I even going? Can I even go back here? Okay, you can. Oh god, not like this. Can you go away from me? Oh god. I just hate crawlers in this game and gore fasts. They're just like the worst thing you can possibly imagine. Oh, can you just go away? There we go. Freaking bullshits, man. Oh, I just can't wait for Killing Floor 2 to have its Halloween update, man. Please do it soon. Okay, Crawler's gonna die soon, because that's what you do. Okay, I'm just gonna pull out this and just start shooting people, because that's what we do. In Killing Floor 1. I mean, hell on earth between Killing Floor 1 and 2. 
I'm still not sure because if I, I if I was playing like Killing Floor One the same amount if I was playing Killing Floor Two, it the hell on earth would be easy. But since I'm playing Killing Floor Two, that's why I think Killing Floor One right now is hard as hell, probably. Okay, Siren, you need to die, piece of shit, man. Okay, one clot left, and he is demolished. Uh, but yeah, I still don't know. Killing Floor 1 or Killing Floor 2. Still don't know which one is harder. I mean, depends on which one you play more, I guess, but still. Okay, I'm just gonna skip the trade right now and be right back. And we're back, and I did buy myself the crossbow, because I think it's going to be a better choice here, but I'm not completely sure. Okay, that's the flesh bond, which I'm going to have to kill before he kills me. Because flesh bonds are way freaking different in Killing Floor 1 than in Killing Floor 2. Because in Killing Floor 2, when a flesh bond... Oh god, that's not gonna be fun. Okay, where was I? Because in Killing Floor 2, when a flesh bond hits you, you have like... Like, tremendous amount of time to get away from him. But in Killing Floor 1, nope, you just get demolished. Because the flesh bond here doesn't care. Okay, let's just go and kill you up, because that's what we have to do. I mean, the crossbow in this game, it's just so freaking nice. Oh god, that's going to be a lot of shit behind now. Oh, don't you be cornering me, man. Not like this. Oh, I just like jumping in games, man. Just so freaking easy to avoid everything. Okay, where are they? Okay, only 32 left. That's not too bad. Okay, I'm gonna try and kill the boss with that overpriced piece of shit sniper rifle. But we'll see, man. Okay, let's just kill these guys up. I mean, Hell on Earth and Suicidal, it's like night and day in this game, pretty much, for me at least. Because Suicidal I can handle, but Hell on Earth, if I'm not like playing the game, I just can't even handle it anymore, man. Okay, bloat, what you doing over there? It was this. Ford? I think it says fail, but I'm not sure. Okay, let's just kill you guys. Oh, I do like I do like Killing Floor 1. Killing Floor 1 is still a freaking favorite of mine. Wait, are they all dead? Okay, no, there's still one more somewhere. Probably stuck, because the AI in this game is not fantastic. Okay, where is he? No? He's probably stuck in here somewhere. Or maybe not. Okay, I don't even know where the hell he is. Okay. Okay, at, le at least we can, like, explore the map a little bit as we go. Oh, I just do- I just miss this freaking Killing Floor 1 music, man. Okay, I think I hear him here somewhere. Not sure. Okay, where the hell is that guy? Oh, is that him? Okay, I think that's it. Okay, there we go. Got him. Okay, let's just buy the overpriced piece of shit. And if you don't know what I mean, if I sell this and these two I can buy this for a thousand and forty nine so let's buy it and the reload is freaking 5k which is kind of disappointing but at least it's powerful hopefully so yeah skipping the trader and be right back and we are back for the boss let's see if I can kill him or not okay where the hell did he even spawn okay I think he's like over there somewhere not entirely sure Okay, he's over there, but I can't even see where. Jesus Christ, I hate this map. Oh, he's over here. Oh shit, he's got his freaking rocket launcher out. Piece of shit, man. Okay, as long as I keep him, like, at a distance, I should be fine. Hopefully. Okay, there he is. Okay, one more shot. Okay, maybe maybe two. Not sure. Can I kill him? Can I kill him? Be oh, there we freaking go, man. Ooh, well, I mean, if he would have come and run into me, I would probably die. Oh, look at this now. Oh, I can't even move. Okay, I can just, like, insult some specimens here. There we go. So, suicidal, man, it's kind of, like, not that difficult, but... I mean, if I didn't kill the patriarch, like, right away, he would probably kill me because he would just, like, keep, like, running into me and shit, but... Meh, it's still kinda easy, but I'm not sure if I would be able to beat Hell on Earth with this same strategy, so yeah. Maybe next time, man, but yeah, I just wanted to just, like, play this game for the Halloween Zeds, because they are just so freaking awesome. 
So I hope you guys enjoyed this. Let me know if you want more Killing Floor 1 because I can surely squeeze it in from time to time next to Killing Floor 2. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed. Leave a like, subscribe, and see you guys next episode. Adios.